If you have fallen in love with DNA, RNA and proteins, then my dear friend, you are going to love this video because this video talks about how can you use your love for DNA, RNA and protein can be used to earn a lot of money in the future. Well, I'm talking about, you read it right, molecular biology careers. This is going to be your beginner's guide, not a long video, a short one, but to the point to give you the crux of the matter. So like I said, you have fallen in love with the DNA, RNA and protein, but how can you use this to commercialize? How can you make a lot of money? Well, years ago, one of my um, students, he took gate coaching from me, then he went to IIT Guwahati, and then now he's a protein biologist in Germany. He came to me and said that, I'm really proud that I chose molecular biology because today that love has transformed into a profession, that passion has transformed into a profession and today he earns millions of dollars. So how can you become a protein engineer? How can you become a molecular biologist who will be in demand in the future? All of that right here in this one video. So what exactly is molecular biology? It's all about lab work or is it more than that? Actually, it is all about tackling global health, food security and environmental challenges all at one go, right? And that's why this field is evolving rapidly, attracting a lot of investments, diverse, impactful, and of course, a lot of money for all of you. Now, this guide will help you understand what are the education-based careers, paths you can follow initially, and then how can you scale, right? So let's cut short. It's gonna be a BSc Life Sciences or Biotechnology, MSc in Life Sciences or Biotechnology, BTech Biotechnology or Life Science, whatever. But it should have a subject molecular biology, okay, or biochemistry. Now, what are the career paths? See, the problem with molecular biology is as soon as you pass and you try to get in, you will get low level jobs like lab technicians, quality control, quality production assistant, scientific sales, application scientist, science communicator, all of that. But those are low paying jobs. So I will never suggest you becoming a molecular biologist after a bachelor's. That will be a strict no unless you have master's, that's MTech or MSc, okay? Now, after MSc also, if you try to get a job in the biotech sector, problem is there are so many molecular biologists already in the sector and segment that you might get a lower role. Initially, you will get a research associate role. Later on, it transforms into a research scientist. You can also get a job as a quality assurance and regulatory affairs specialist or a lecturer or, you know, you can go for a PhD. Well, the real work or the real game changer will be either you upskill yourself in bioinformatics along with molecular biology or you go for a PhD. Now, whichever you choose, let me know in the comment section. Now, if you are going for a PhD, please don't go without a scholarship, okay? I know it's a rough road, it's a tough road. You can always take help of Biotechnica's coaching services for CSI and in India, and that will help you. Otherwise, you can take uh, help of our career guidance team and they will guide you for, um, you know, PhD abroad as well, all right? But whatever you do, uh, check the link in the description it has more details okay so yeah you can uh, do a phd and then there you become a molecular biologist scientist okay but before that if you try to do that then you need a bioinformatics computational biology skill set and that is where more money is now money did i say money yes we want more money so how can we get more money as a bi molecular biologist so we know that india's bioeconomy grew from 10 billion dollars in 2014 to 165.7 billion dollars in 2024 and it's growing right it is projected to be 300 billion dollars by 2030 so that's where government is pushing dbt by Iraq is pushing there's a thriving ecosystem of startups hubs are bangalore hyderabad ahmedabad and delhi so you can get jobs here if you target usa you have the largest biotech market in the usa is boston right that is the biggest hub cambridge san francisco san diego research triangle park all of this and the biggest uh, funding agency in the world for molecular biology projects is NIH, which funds up to $45 billion per year in just molecular biology, right? Now, the job growth also is 7 to 8% uh, per annum, CAGR. And coming to Europe now, UK is uh, growing. We have uh, Switzerland, uh, Munich, Berlin, Paris, uh, Leiden, Copenhagen. That's where the hubs are. But now coming to the salary expectation, how much money can you make? See, if you try to get in after BSc, you will not get more than 20,000 rupees per month unless you have a bioinformatics degree, okay? Now, go for MSc, you, it ranges from 5 to 8 lakhs per annum. If you go for a PhD, 
and then it goes from 8 to 15 lakhs. But if you have an MSc with a bioinformatics skill set, it can grow up to 24 lakhs also. So that is where a molecular biologist with bioinformatics skills is highly sought after. Now, where can you learn bioinformatics? You can learn at Biotechnica. So this month, we have the Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning in Bioinformatics and Biology Industrial Training Project starting from 29th of August. Links is given in the description. You can chat with our scientists and take help and they will guide you. So that is where you can actually command better salary as a molecular biologist, okay? Now, what are the emerging hot areas in molecular biology you need to know? Synthetic biology, gene editing, personalized medicine, genomics, bioinformatics and AI, traditional biotech and pharma innovation, that's R&D, sustainable agriculture, and some niche fields like space biology or, you know, futuristic sciences, right? So that's all about your regular uh, molecular biology jobs. Now, how do you proceed forward? you need certifications. So you have molecular biology hands-on training available at Biotechnica in collaboration with the IAS incubated lab guided by Dr. Deepthi Saini. You can also take help of Biotechnica's bioinformatics department to do some projects on Python, R, Linux, NGS, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and much more. And then you can also learn CRISPR. NGS training is already happening at Biotechnica. You should do soft skills training. For that also, we have career guidance uh, department which, which, which can guide you. Now, the challenges you will face is the industry is saturated with a lot of molecular biologists. So you need additional skill set, okay? So you just you should not just fe fall in love with biology or DNA, RNA proteins, but you should also look at how can you solve molecular biology problems using computational tools. If you've done that, well, sky's the limit. Molecular biology is a way to go, guys. This is the science of the future, but only for those who use the tools of the future, and that is AI and machine learning. Now, having said that, does the world end at molecular biology? No. Molecular biology also has various aspects, and the fastest growing one is protein biology or protein engineering, okay? So basically, you can use the tools of the future, AlphaFold, to design proteins, okay? That's what makes you a protein engineer. And then you can create fusion proteins. So fusion protein is like, okay, taking the right nuggets of the gene and fitting in them in together, which further translates into RNA and protein and gives us the right protein which we want, which can solve problems, okay? So uh, in my future videos, I'll definitely make a detailed video on how can you become a protein engineer. But for now, let me know in the comment section what more you need to know and I will guide you for that. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the, in the next one. Till then, keep shining and see you soon as a molecular biologist. All the best.